Well, guys, it's our second day on Bob Sound. Uh, yesterday, and you'll probably see it later here right after this clip, we came out here, was going to fish it, and before we could get the boat on the water, they had a pretty good storm front come through, so we never got to fish. We're at Barefoot Marina today, my favorite place to put in on this lake. I'm John Maxwell. This is Next Level Fishing and Camping. And today, we're on my home lake in Pittsburgh, Texas, at Lake Bob Sandon. Bob Sandon Lake Facts. Uh, Bob Sandon was impounded in 1977. The surface area is 9,004 acres, with a maximum depth of 65 feet. Location is 5 miles southwest of Mount Pleasant, Texas. Fluctuation, 2 to 3 feet annually. Normal clarity, moderate, two to four feet visibility. The Lake Authority on Lake Bob Sandlin is the Titus County Freshwater Supply District, and you can get a hold of them at, at the phone number of 903-572-1844. The shoreline of this lake consists of timber, grass, docks, and boathouses. As far as bass fishing, largemouth, the lake is rated good by the state of Texas. The lake record is 14.31 pounds in 26 inches. There is no slot with a minimum of 14 inches to keep them and a daily limit of 5. As far as crappie fishing, Lake Bob Sandlin is rated good by the state of Texas. The lake record is 2.85 pounds with a length of 17 inches. Keepers must be at least 10 inches with a daily limit of 25. Lake Bob Sandlin is rated excellent for white bass. 10 inch minimum for keepers. A daily limit of 25. The lake record is 3.39 pounds at 17 inches. Let's talk about Lake Bob Sandlin first. First of all, Lake Bob Sandlin is a premier lake. It is a great lake. It is a lake that is pretty easy to catch fish on. As far as the lake itself, it, it's got one marina on it. And it's a pretty good marina. Uh, it's not the biggest or the baddest, but it, I don't mind recommending it. it the, this marina is Barefoot Marina. Uh, they rent boat stalls, you know. They also rent cabins, so you can rent a cabin from them, you can rent a boat stall from them, and to me that's a big plus, not having to pull my boat out of the water every night and hook it up to charge it. But they also have a camping ground. The camping ground is clean, It's uh, they do allow tents, it has a laundromat on it. As far as restrooms and showers, the restrooms and showers are pretty modern, they keep them clean. They uh, have a laundromat there, and they also have a small convenience store in there, in the marina itself, where you can put, pick up a few essential items. They sell gas. They even sell the alcohol-free gas there. They have a small bake shop there. Now, last year when I was going there, they had a grill, and they could cook you hamburgers, or they had sandwiches, hot sandwiches they would make you. I don't know if this is a seasonal deal, or what, but when we went back this year, it, it was pretty much things that you could put in the microwave. And I love, I love the middle of the day. One of my favorite things to do when I was fishing Bob Sandlin was go up to the marina and eat something, get out of the hot sun in July and August for, a couple, for an hour, hour and a half, and hit the lake again. Also, next to the uh, marina, there's a bridge you, right next to the marina. At, if you're leaving, if you're facing the lake, it's on the right. And I don't know if I have a picture of it or not, but we spent many hours at night. At, at night, we'll pull up there about 4 or 5 o'clock and get a couple dozen minutes from the marina, and you can catch all kinds of crappie up under that bridge. We tie up under it and crappie fish till 10, 11 o'clock at night. Volleyball courts and things like that, but the marina itself is a great place to stay. Uh, they don't have like a breakfast yet. I don't know if that's seasonal or not, but there's a place called Big Earl's up the street. And I've ate at Big Earl's a couple of times. 
and they have good food. So you can get up early in the morning, and you can uh, go to Big Earl's and eat. Go back to your boat if you stay at a cabin or a camper there, or even in a tent, and start out early fishing. It, uh, the uh, address for the uh, Barefoot Marina is 5244 Pistol Mill Road, Pittsburgh, Texas. And their phone number is 903-856-3643. Like I said, that, it's a great marina. Uh, it's a great lake. It's a great marina. Uh, another place, if you want to just camp out, they have Bob Sandlin State Park. It's a very nice state park. Uh, we've checked it out. It's got great campsites. The facilities there are modern. They're well kept. Uh, if you want to camp in a tent or, you know, if, if uh, just come and stay for the day and put in at the, the state park. Um, and it's not far. You can cross the lake to get to the marina if you want to. Also, another thing about Lake Bob Sandlin is that it joins two other lakes. Now, you can't get to either one of these lakes from by your boat. You will have to trailer it. You will have to find a place to put it. It joins Lake Monticello. It has the Monticello power plant on it. But there's another great lake that it joins to, and that is Lake Sack. And if for you guys that are not familiar with the area, I would stay, if you were looking for places to stay at, if you didn't stay at the marina, I would stay at the Bob Sandlin State Park. Uh, it's kind of centered between the other two lakes. It's kind of a middle ground, if you will. For me, if I was going coming from Dallas or Houston and wanted to make a uh, trip out of this and maybe fish all three of these lakes, the place I would stay is the State Park. Other than that, this is basically it on our Bob Sandlin report. Uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you, if you like this video and you are interested in reports on these, this lake like this. So I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, I hope to see you on the water. I hope you come see uh, Fish Bob Sandlin and, and enjoy the lake. I hope you're finding a benefit to this. And uh, until then, until our next lake we review and get out and get information on, have a good time. There we go. Oh, and this is a good one. I didn't see him come to the top. Oh, come here, baby. Come here. Look at that. My first good one of the year. There you go. Lake Bob Salmon. That's a nice one. That's a real nice one. Take too long.
been here 15, 20 minutes. Nice little old bass. Get on out of here, punk. You go grow some more. There we go. There's another one. Oh, and he come off. But that was a good size one. There's you one. Are they? Good job. Looky there! No, nope, chartreuse sub. Chatterbait. Chartreuse and white chatterbait. Seven foot of water, 66 degrees. Ain't bad. You want to pick? Uh -huh. Get him, buddy. Bring him in. There you go. I think you're on film. Good one. I think I'm getting. You want your picture taken with him or anything? Alright, give me the cell phone. 